Commander Zork glared at the holographic projection of Earth. Its swirling blue and green surface was deceptively beautiful. A primitive life form inhabits this planet, he rumbled, his voice echoing in the sterile bridge of the Valdarian flagship. Their technology is weak, their defense is non existent. Easy prey. Lieutenant Lexa, her six bioluminescent eyes narrowed, studied the data feed. Indeed, Commander. But their genetic code shows anomalies. Zork scoffed. Mutations. Insignificant. Prepare the invasion fleet. Days bled into weeks as the Valdarian armada neared Earth. Lexa, consumed by the anomaly, delved deeper. The human genetic code held fragments, echoes of their own. Unease nodded her. She presented her findings to Zork. These humans, she ventured, share a significant amount of dormant Valdarian DNA. Zork froze. He revisited the data, a cold dread settling in his stomach. It can't be. Lexa continued, Commander, what if? The answer struck them both simultaneously. Earth wasn't a target for conquest. It was a cradle, a forgotten origin. Millennia ago, a Valdarian colony ship, seeking a new home, must have crash-landed. The survivors, with limited technology, would have adapted, devolved even. They had become, human. The invasion fleet hung in tense silence. Zork addressed his crew, his voice heavy with revelation. This planet, it is Valdaria Prime. Our ancestral home, lost to the ages. The humans, completely unaware of the Valdarian armada hovering above, went about their lives. A child looked up at the night sky, a spark of wonder in his eyes. On the Valdarian flagship, Zork lowered his head. We cannot invade our own cradle. With a heavy heart, he ordered the fleet to retreat. The mission logs would record Earth as an uncharted, biodiverse world teeming with, distant kin. Back on Valdaria Prime, humanity continued its oblivious journey, forever connected to the stars by an invisible thread of forgotten ancestry.